everyone and welcome. For most projects that we do, we need to do a lot of measurements to achieve the results that we're looking for. Like the old saying goes, measure twice and cut once. For smaller measurements, a tape measure generally works out just fine. But what if you want to measure something on a larger scale? What if you need to make complicated measurements like area, volume, or measure distance easily from multiple locations? Wouldn't it be nice if one device could do all this for you? Measuring from one spot instead of having to move around a lot and repositioning a tape measure each time. Imagine how annoying it is to have to position a tape measure over 100 feet or larger distances. Especially if you're working outdoors with all sorts of debris in your way. Then writing down all the measurements and pulling out a calculator to add or subtract what information you just collected. Well today I have a device that can do all that for you easily and in a compact form Plus, it can store all the information you collected, so you don't even need to write it down. Today, we'll be looking at a laser distance meter or range finder. In other words, an electronic tape measure. So let's take a look at this puppy and see if it lives up to all the benefits that it claims to have. But before we do that, if you enjoy watching honest tool and product reviews plus helpful DIY projects, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I produce another product review video or DIY video. All right, so let's see what we have here. Here's a shot of the box for you. Let's open this puppy up and see what I got. All right, guys, so when you unbox this puppy, this is everything you get. Now, this is the laser distance meter or electronic range finder from Whipar, available on Amazon, link in description below. At the time of making this video, this kit retails for $45.99 but they also have a 5% discount coupon on their Amazon page so you can get it even cheaper than that. And if I happen to come across any other discount coupons, I'll be sure to add them down in the description below, so check that out before you do anything. So what do you get when you unbox this puppy? Well, you get the rangefinder itself, you get a convenient belt clip to keep it on or belt pocket container to keep it in, you get a USB charger to charge it all up because it does have batteries internally, and you get a lanyard to keep it around your hand, your wrist, whatever, so you don't drop it if this is more convenient for you. Plus, you get the owner's manual in multiple different languages that explains everything about how to use it, take care of it, all that kind of good stuff. I suggest you read through that. So the dimensions on this unit are really compact. You're looking at four and a half inches by two inches by only one inch. Really, really compact. Fits into your hand very comfortably. The weight on this unit is only 1.8 ounces. So less than two ounces. Very, very lightweight. This unit is powered by a 3.7 volt, 850 milliamp lithium ion rechargeable battery that can give you up to 8,000 measurements on one charge. This unit does have a class 2 laser, and it does have an auto shutdown, 20 seconds for the laser, and 150 seconds for the entire unit. So if you put it down somewhere and you forget about it, no need to worry. After 150 seconds, it'll turn itself off, so you don't waste the battery. It is IP54 dust and waterproof, so you can use it pretty much in any work environment. It can get dusty, dirty, wet, stuff like that. No need to worry. Wipe it off. Keep on going. It'll be just fine. It does have a convenient one quarter inch threaded tripod mount on the back, as you can see right there. So basically you can put it on a tripod or anything like that, make it easier for you to use it wherever you need a tripod or you want to mount it so that it's easy for you to take your measurements. It also does have a very convenient time delay feature, just like when you're taking a picture with a regular camera, where you can just set the timer to take the picture for you so you can move away from it or not disturb it so you don't want to get vibration in your picture. Same with this. If you don't want to press the button and cause the vibration to throw off your measurements, you can set the time delay, set it to wherever it is that you want to take your measurement, and it'll do it all by itself and give you the most accurate measurement possible. It does have a backlit LCD screen, which I'll show you in a moment when I turn it on, and it gives you greater visibility and all sorts of lighting conditions. Now this unit can measure distance, area, volume, and Pythagorean, so that way when you're doing complicated measurements like triangles and so forth, this puppy can help you up. It is also an electronic angle finder, so you can use this as a level. Instead of being like a bubble level, this guy gives you the actual degrees of measurement that you're looking at. So it is even more accurate than a bubble level. 
It'll give you continuous measurements on the fly anywhere you are. Addition and subtraction, you can add and subtract as you're going. It'll recalibrate itself from wherever you are, so you don't need to worry about your measurements being out of whack or whatever. Just recalibrate it and keep on going. And it measures area and volume, so you can just do that as you're going on the fly. It has a maximum measuring distance of 393 feet, and the accuracy on that is within 1 16th of an inch. So that's very, very accurate over a very large area. It also has 30 data save slots, so you can save your information up to 30 times and still keep on going. No need to write it down. It'll store it for you and do all the measurements and calculations internally. One convenient thing about this unit is also depending on whether you're measuring in very large areas or very cramped areas, that it can take measurements anywhere from the front of the unit the middle of the unit or the back of the unit. So you can put this up against the wall if you're really in a cramped area, take the measurement from the back of the unit and it'll be just as if you were measuring from the wall itself. So three different ways of measuring to give you the greatest amount of accuracy. You can switch freely as you're measuring anywhere between meters, feet or inches. Anytime you wanna switch, you can press the button and switch and keep measurements that way. It also displays your measurements in decimal or fractions. It also has a very convenient beep function, which you can mute if you don't want to hear that, and it'll give you an audible signal whenever it is that you're doing something. So this unit is great for professionals or DIY measurement projects. Whether you're measuring large scale projects like a library bookshelves or a building foundation or measuring the slab on your patio or how much wallpaper you need for a room, any of those kind of things from very large to very small scale. Instead of using a tape measure and dragging it around all over the place, you can use this electronic tape measure and have it all done in half the time. So let's take a look at this puppy a little closer and see what it can do. All right guys, so here we are looking at the unit a little bit more close up. Let's take a little closer look at this unit. As you can see, it's very compact. I mean, look at it. It is smaller than my hand. Fits right in the palm of my hand. Very, very easily, very compact unit. And I gotta keep moving it around to avoid the light glare on the screen. It is a very clear, shiny screen. So you get some light glare on there. Anyway, so you can see right here on this side, you have the area where you put the lane yard in there if you wanna do that. On the back, you have your tripod mount. Very convenient, very easy to do. Just like hooking up a camera or anything else or a laser level or any of that, very easy to do that. On the front there, you have your measuring scope right there, your laser on this side. And the unit itself, you have all the different things right there, all the different measurements. You can switch through it very easily, very conveniently. And you can do right there, this button down here at the bottom, this one right there with the U on it, that is up here. And it tells you right there, you can switch from measuring from the top of the device, the middle or the back. It is that easy to do to switch it on the fly anytime you want. You can add or subtract volume up, down. You can save it right there, the little disc. That is your storage unit if you want to save any information. You can clear, turn things off. Up here, you can select the different ways that you want to measure. Area, volume, Pythagorean, any of that kind of good stuff. And you just cycle through it, and it'll tell you everything very, very easily. I mean, look how easy it is to just switch around or straight measurements. If you want just straight measurements, there you go. That easy to do. And then over here, you hit that, and you turn on the laser. You see... Right there, you have the laser pointer turned on, and you point that to whatever it is that you want to measure, and it'll do it for you. And it tells you right up there that the laser is active. And you can switch on this. Right now, it's on inches, but you can switch between inches, feet, meters, etc. So very right there, very well lit, very easy to see everything, very convenient unit. The LCD screen is very, very clear. So let's take some measurements and see how this guy performs. All right, guys, let's do a few different measurements on the fly here. I'm going to show you a few different things that this guy can do. First of all, right at the top up here, you can see the level function where you can see the angle that this guy measures. So if I put it right there on my bench, let me light it up. You see right there, it is at zero degrees, meaning that I have a level workbench. So no matter where you put it, it will always be reading that automatically all the time. And basically what I'm going to do right now, I have it set to fractions and I have it set to feet and inches. So let's take a measurement. I'm gonna measure from right here, the edge of my workbench, I'm gonna put it right here, and I'm gonna measure all the way over there to the other end of my shop. So basically what we do is turn it on, and you can see, let me see, let me find it. Looking through a camera scope is kinda of harder to do, but uh, let me, where is the laser? There is a laser right there trying to look at different areas here. Let me put it right here. Like I said, I'm going to 
put it right here and I'm gonna set it to measure to the other side over there so it's easy to do on the fly. So you can see the laser pointer over there. We click, there we go, click measure right there. And it gives me a measurement of uh, 25 feet and four inches. Is that what that is? Let's try it again and make sure that we didn't get it incorrectly. Let me put it right there, put it right there. Since I'm looking through the viewfinder, it's kind of harder to do. But put the laser thing right there and press the button and we get 25 feet, four inches, so it's accurate. So there you go, from my workbench to the other wall over there, you're looking at 25 feet and four inches. Let's take another measurement here. All right, so here we are at the other end of the shop, and basically I'm gonna put this guy right up against the wall back here, and I'm gonna make, you can see the laser pointer right there, and I'm gonna point it over there to the other wall. I don't know if you can see it over there, let's see. Kinda of hard to see on that white wall over there on the door. I can see it, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but let me uh, hold down, let me set it up. There's a laser pointer right there. Let me press the button and bam, we get a measurement of 19 feet, 11 inches. And you can set that to inches alone, feet alone, meters, whatever it is that you want to do. And like I say, if you were to put that right there on that counter right there, you can see that is also level. That's zero degrees. And let me show you that it's not a fake reading. If you move it, you see that it moves to whatever it is that you're doing. So you can select exactly what angle you want when you're installing something, just using that little guy right there. It works perfectly as a level. So that comes in very, very handy. And one thing I didn't mention earlier is that this guy does have a min-max reading. So you can select between minimum, maximum, take difference, all that kind of good stuff. It's a very, very useful little device. All right, guys, here we are outside of my backyard. Let's measure from one end to the other without having to walk anywhere or do anything. I have a zero it out. You see the zero right there. I click on it right now, get it turned on, get it activated, and we have 67 feet. There you have it. Without having to go to the other end, I got a measurement. All right, guys, there you have it. A review and demonstration of an electronic rangefinder or laser distance meter. I think this is a great little device. Instead of having to pull out a long tape measure, this device allows you to measure large distances very easily. It also helps you in calculating many different measurements, it stores your data, and works as a compact level or angle finder. A lot of function for your money in a very small container. If you're tired of having to drag around a large measuring tape for all your projects, I suggest that you look at this little guy right here. Check out their Amazon page for complete details. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now.